welcome back to On the Slab on the Dynamo Podcast Network. And we hope you're all having an, a lovely, lovely Friday night and watching loads of horror movies. And uh, again, I'm back with my, my other main man, the G-Man, Greg Flanagan. How are you, bro? What's happening, homie? I'm all good. I'm all good. This hood is good. Thank you very much. It's good to see you again. How's your week been? Warm. Yeah. It's been so well. Long. Actually, had a bit of rain this week, which is nice. Yeah, it was nice, but still, it was st- still warm. I think we're I'm able to finally get some fucking sleep in this place, you know. <laughs> oh, it's been desperate. I've been sleeping with a towel just, oh. and that was it. Understandable. Uh, thanks, oh, yeah. Bad. Thanks for coming on again, man. And um, you're helping out an awful lot on on the show, which we really, really appreciate. Gotta to, got to look after the bros, you know? Absolutely. And again, shout out to, to Ted and yourself on Retro Time and then Retro Time and Rewind. Uh, recast. Recast. Sorry. Recast. What a. We'll get, we'll get sued for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's a great, another great show on the Dynamo Podcast Network that I'm sure everyone's going to check out. Yeah, check it out to see the battle with me and Carl Sherlock yes. of the Sherlock Reel and Retro Time and Recast on the movie hook check that's, it out that's brilliant <laughs> we, of course there'll be links for that so uh yeah but tonight we, we were kind of just freestyling it tonight we decided what would we do because we normally have a, a structure in place but we're going to talk about franchise horror horror movie franchises and you're going to read out kind of the, the top say top 20 or whatever i have, to, I have 26 here right let we'll, lunatic we'll, we're letting lunatics run the asylum tonight. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're you're in charge tonight. So I'll tell you whether I like these franchises or not, whether we think they should have been higher up the list or lower down the list or whatever. Well, the the, the list that I got it off is done through the money they've earned mm. as a franchise. Right. So um, they're from, there on merit. <laughs> they're there yeah. on their yeah. Well, some of them will be there on merit, some of them will be there on, on legend more so. Yeah, yeah. Right, we'll um, kick it off then go on. Right, twenty six. We've got Fright Night. Now does that three encompass, movies? Does that encompass the new one as well? Yeah. Right. Okay. So three movies. They made forty six million. That's not bad when you think about it, actually. Well, when the first one came out in the eighties or something with Charlie Rooster. Yeah, I like that one. That's good. The Colin Farrell one was atrocious. <laughs> And I wouldn't mind. I like Colin Farrell in, in things, you know. Oh, uh, it was. But it was oh, crap you know, I've, I've, wa- I've watched it once, and I was like, Jesus. And I've watched some bad movies. Yeah. Um, it's a it's an enjoyable franchise. Two is very forgettable, though. Yeah, but you see a lot of those eighties films. They they couldn't recapture the magic of the force, you know. No. Well, Even that's the, it. Was like it was like you remember Day Live, that yeah. had the press was to set up a second one. And I'm so glad they didn't go near it. Yeah, they let, it was perfect. Yeah. That, that they didn't and know essentially, it. essentially, fully perfect. Yeah. Um, Fright Night 1. Fright Night 1 was like that. Yes, I think and so. They should have just, should have just went, thanks very much. I'll take my uh, my 30 or 40 million or whatever that one made alone. And, yeah. And went, uh, it's a bang average film series really don't know yeah I like like we said there's one film that you'd, you'd watch you would probably watch it again not often oh yeah but you would watch it again the others are forgettable like as you said yeah you know well two two I'd rather watch two than watch the remake yeah well there's that word again remake <laughs> yeah <laughs> now, now where's the where's the t-shirt now Carl fuck remakes <laughs> oh yeah I gotta get that made <laughs> Um, we move on 25 is actually one of my favourite ones uh, Hellraiser right, okay. four films 48 and a half million wow I think it's due to the time and obviously losing the rights to the movies as well didn't help Clive Barker in the in the process of it that's right he has them um, back now hasn't he the rights yeah he got he got them back uh, last year I think yeah I think it was last after year. a hell of a battle um, Hellraiser 1 was brilliant I love it it's, it's, um, I was only watching it a few weeks ago actually. Was, we were only talking about just before coming on about Doug Bradley yeah uh, what a man what a yeah. what a concept from Clive Barker yeah like how do you come up with that well I mean I mean, 
it, it all stems when well, when you think about it, it's coming from his ideas for books, really, isn't it? Yeah. Well, um, he wrote. I think he wrote the graphic novel and then done the, yeah. the film from it, didn't he? That's what. It, yeah. But, uh, it's, 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 he's got a really dark mind. I mean, did you ever see uh, what was his other one? Um. Uh, oh God. He has. Uh, he has a couple other ones, didn't he? Yeah, but the, it's got. He's got a very dark mind. <laughs> Um. Yeah, I I don't Nightbreed. know which one. Nightbreed. Nightbreed. Oh, Nightbreed. Yeah, I've seen. I've I've read. I think I've read some of it. I don't. I'm not a great reader. Mm. Um. But I, I read some of it just to see some but, up stuff he has. Yeah. But like, even to come up with that principle of like, I know I know the the Cenobites box came from the Rubik's cube. The fact that he couldn't finish it. Yeah. So he decided to make a, a thing of it. Yeah. Um. Open the box and they will come. All right. <laughs> Get in trouble. No. Hey, but it's, it's not bad. They're not the worst fran. They're not. The, it's not the worst franchise, I suppose you could say. But like no, you said, not at all. The first one, top drawer again. Again. Yeah. You know. Two wasn't bad. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, that new, the newest one, was it Inferno or whatever it's called? Was okay. just. I didn't even look at it. You can, you can see when Clyde. Brown Parker was involved in it and wasn't. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's it's a strange one. Uh, we move on. Twenty four. Uh, is Evil Dead? Uh, I would have thought that would have been higher up actually. Again, it, it came out very early and probably when cinemas weren't as expensive to go to, so it's harder to make high end, and it and it didn't help that. It was banned in a lot of countries straight away. I know. Yeah. yeah. When you um, think about it, Sam, Sam, Sam Raimi was brilliant uh, in the way he made this. Mm. Um, and like everyone always goes, "Oh yeah, Ash from Evil Dead." A lot of people forget that Evil Dead One didn't really feature him a whole lot. No. In a way. I know. I know. Um, <laughs> and this is one though. This is one I'll always say. I know you don't like remakes, but this is one of the remakes that was. This was a good one. I haven't seen the remake, actually, believe it or not. Yeah, the remake, it's on Prime. Uh, I only watched it not so long ago again. It's, uh, it's a very, very good remake. Is it Sam Raimi again? Uh, no. I don't think so. can't remember if it is or not. I don't think it is, no. Right. I think he had something to do with it, but it wasn't a full remake from him. Yeah. But, uh, obviously, the remake thing, but to bring in 74.1 million, it's not bad. Yeah. Now, I think a lot of it kept... I think a lot of it came from the remake. Probably, yeah. Um, but what can you do? Uh, this is one of them ones in terms of horror. It's a cult classic, really. Yeah, and uh, I mean, it's, it's it's an unusual one where they basically didn't they basically remake the first one in part two? Pretty pretty <laughs> just, much. Just, what did they do? I remade it, just slightly different. Slightly different, yeah. So that's <laughs> an unusual concept. One. Yeah. Um. It was a strange one, but it was entertaining. And then Army of Darkness is just hilarious. It. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Great this is my boomstick. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Ash, oh, I mean, remember, like, people love Ash, don't they? They love him. Yeah. Well, he became like, he got a TV show 20 years later. Like, Ash vs. Evil Dead. I never actually watched it now. Oh, but it's brilliant, man. You watch it. I, I have it. It's on my list there. I think it's on uh, It's on Netflix. It's, on, it's Netflix. on my list. But um, like the bit in... in uh, Evil, in Evil Dead 3 Army of Darkness where he's got the little people running around his body and saying, do you want some hot coffee yeah. brilliant very good Roy, what's next uh, 23 is Sinister and you know something I, I only watched the first one of them about three weeks ago uh, spanned two movies made 75 nearly 76 million wow on two movies yeah Ethan Hawke uh, it was very good. This was me and Zoe's first date. We went to see Sinister. We went oh, to see hey. Sinister. Yeah. And was she jumping into your arms, was she? No, but I kept annoying her. I kept on to her leg. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, I enjoyed it very much. Uh, very good concept for a franchise uh, for a, a film, really. Mm. Yeah, um, I enjoyed the first one. As I say, I haven't seen the second one yet. Second one was all right. It's kind of the same as the first one in terms of story but right. it'll, it does its job it does its job uh 22 psycho right okay again 
for me the fourth one is the only one I'd have any interest in yeah now this one doesn't count American Psycho in it either though no but re- the yeah. remake was in there it was in there as well I'm sure with Vince Vaughn yeah yeah oh, uh, we, the less the less spoke about that the better <laughs> yeah <laughs> Jesus good old Vince threw himself into everything at that stage didn't he god he's some boy and now he's just typecast <laughs> ah he's grand he's grand he is <laughs> Much did that make? Uh, Psycho made 102 million over four films. Jesus, that's that's actually when you think about it, that's good. It is, yeah, considering what one came out in the early 70s. Yeah. Was it 60s? It was 70s? late 60s or something. It was. Yeah. It was, yeah. Jeez. Probably about five cent into the cinema. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A book <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. Uh, five, five is one that, or tw- sorry, five. Twenty-one is um. Is one that a lot of people love. Uh, me, not so much. It's Child's Play. I'm like you. I'm not a yeah. fan of Child's Play. No, I, I don't get it. I generally no. don't get the the love. I watched. I've watched them all. I've not watched the remake, and I don't plan to watch the remake. Um, we made five films. That's including the remake. Made 126 million. Not bad. It's good going. Yeah. And now it's it's got a new TV show coming out. Oh, I don't um, find I don't um, again I'm just not into that. Um, I've just I've never never into Chucky and all this kind of stuff, you know. I, if it was on, if it was out somewhere and it was on, or in someone's house was on, I'll sit and watch it. But yeah. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go and put it on. No, we'd be the same. So um, twenty. We move on quickly there. The Almond is twenty. Four films, hundred and sixty-two million. That's that includes true. the re- That includes the remake. Probably most of that was uh, the money was on the remake, probably. Yeah, well, again, yeah. another movie that was critically acclaimed and probably not let into a lot of cinemas in a lot of countries. Do you ever um, find actually a lot of older people will say, like my mother was, used to be terrified of, and I'm sure this is going to be up the list. Uh, my mother was terrified of The Exorcist. Yeah, my parents were saying. Yeah, and they wouldn't watch it. She, she wouldn't watch it with me, and. Uh, She's like, I'm not watching that. You're not to watch that. So I had to watch that when she got to bed or whatever, you know what I mean? Well, well, we'll get to a movie later on where I'll explain my my similar scenario to that one. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the album was, was good. Yeah, four yes. again. Brilliant. Two wasn't bad. Um, The remake was, again, atrocious. There's that big word. Bu- <laughs> it was a big, big, big budget, uh, big budget, Shite return. Mm. Uh, that's, yeah. that's Hollywood for you all over. Ran out of ideas now. Yeah. What we got next? Uh, 19 is the Amityville series. Um, so you've got the three originals and then the, the Ryan Reynolds remake. I was never a fan of the Amityville, although I probably didn't give it as much of a chance as I should have. The original one, you know. 100, 170 million. For three, for uh, three films? For four. Four, wow. So you've got the three original and then the Ryan Reynolds Michael Bay one. Um, the, f- the first one was good. Uh, second one was just ridiculous. The third <laughs> one was just... third one was just the third one. Uh, like, the Ryan Reynolds one gets a lot of hate. Uh, I think if you put that as a standalone horror movie, it's, it's all right. Yeah. Uh, but trying to follow off an actual... Well, supposedly a true story like it was just crazy um, is that the film where they had the real skeletons in the in the water with your woman the no it was no it was Poltergeist Poltergeist sorry yeah I always get which those is, two. which is actually the next movie on the list fuck off no way yeah <laughs> number 18 Poltergeist four films 179 million wow you're seeing the yeah. heavy hitters now, the real, like some of the older, old school ones are really heavy hitters now. Yeah, it's a, Poltergeist, this is four films, the three original ones, and of course the, the 2015 remake. remake, which I've seen about 12 minutes of. <laughs> That's enough for you. Yeah, uh, once I've seen the first issue of The Ghost coming out, I was like, nah, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm done here. <laughs> I don't even have um, to see it. <laughs> no. Uh, we move so swiftly on, and that, as you said, the best thing about that was freaking your one out by putting the real skeletons in. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'd say they got in so much trouble for that. I think they did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. It's great though when you when you look at it back and you're like, they're real, that's deadly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see it you see it in a couple of films. Like you see it now they've done it in the descent, same mm. kind of way they've done it. Now obviously they weren't real skeletons because you're gonna get in trouble for that. Yeah. Uh, they do that kind of scene where she's in the water and it's it's there's bodies floating like yeah, yeah. seen this before this came from a classic <laughs> uh, 17 is Insidious three mm-hmm. movies 189.8 million and I can understand that because I really enjoyed the first one. Oh yeah um, the first one was absolutely yeah. brilliant and the song the oh, tiptoe uh, to the window yeah, uh, good little uh, what's his name, Tiny Tim. Tip-toe yeah, tri- to the tube. was it? The, yeah, the tulips. Yeah, brilliant. Um, yeah, the red faced demon. Uh, Patrick Wilson was brilliant. I have to um, say, man, that when when you see a man, when you see that red faced demon behind your woman, just for the f- no, it's 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 behind him. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Jesus she, she's, him. she's talking. Yeah, she's talking. He's just standing behind you. Like, Jesus, that was, that was a good scare. That was a fucking yeah. good scare. One of my favourite scares was a real subtle one in that. Was, uh, you know, when they walk into the bedroom mm. and the young fella's asleep and the demon standing in the corner just pointing at him. That's right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that was one. What do you want? It just points at him. Yeah. That had, a, that had an air of Nightmare on Elm Street about it. It did, actually, yeah. Because yeah, 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 you have, it looks like he had the claws and it's just pointing at him and you're like, yeah. yeah. That, that was like a, that, that was a good. It was again. I, I haven't seen the other two yet, but I plan on looking at them. There's, well, actually, it, there's there's it says here three, but there's actually four. Um, I don't know whether they're counting the last key in this one, which is the latest one. Right. Okay. Um, I, I imagine they should be because it's been out for a couple of years, but uh, maybe maybe I took it down wrong and it was supposed to be four, but there is four of them. Right. Okay. Thinking about it there. We move on to number 16. This is one of yours. Oh. Uh, it's set in a very old, hot place of Texas. Texas Chains of Massacre. Yeah, runs in at number 16. Eight films. Uh, soon to be nine. Yeah, I know. Uh, runs off a total of 199.3 million. So just shy of 200 million. And again, now, I would say the remakes and the reboots got most of that, I would say. But... Well, the, the, the Michael Bay one definitely did. Uh, that's the highest grossing one of the, the series. Yeah. But then again, Tal Pooper's one came out. Cinema probably wasn't as dear. Um, there was a lot of publicity about the 2003 one. Like mm-hmm. I was only 12 when it came out, and I remember it wanting to go and see it. Um, now, this is where... We got. We were saying earlier. We'll get into a discussion. Go on. This is what your favorite horror it's, movie. Yeah, this um, and American Werewolf from London that kind of yeah right up there. But I one's one's a, two different subgenres really of horror, isn't it? I absolutely adore this film. I adore the, this film. The first one, uh, the Tall Pooper one, is almost perfect in my mind. Mm-hmm. Right up until they bring the granddad down. Yeah, you don't like that. <laughs> that that ruins that ruins the whole film for me. Yeah. And like if that shame. wasn't there, if that wasn't there, that film was perfect. That that film would be nearly as perfect as Jaws. Yeah, I can understand um, that. No, I'd be I, like that. I hate the that part of that movie so much that I I think I prefer the 2003 remake to that one. Oh, don't say that. But. uh the grisly, grim nature of that first one is just phenomenal. What's the word like, we always use? Atmosphere. atmosphere. <laughs> uh, I'd say it was hot and sweaty as fuck making that movie. I believe they all wanted um, to kill. They were they were very close to wanting to kill each other on set at that stage. I'd, I'd say so. Yeah, tensions <laughs> got high, but like the mm. scene where he hits your man with the lump hammer and he's just twitching on the ground. Yeah, it's brilliant. Jesus. But the whole oh. lack of the lack of. Of blood in the film. That's yeah, there was very about. little. Yeah, and yet it was banned yeah. for years, like you know. Yeah, well, I because they turned around and said it was a true story. Inspired <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? like, true stories. Yeah, the Blair, the Blair Witch got that as well in some countries because of That's it. Right. That's right. Remember, funny. like uh, the the big the biggest one was um, 
Do you remember Cannibal Holocaust? Yes. Your man had to give a deposition and try and get the actors out to yeah. be like, this was a movie. He had them all it was that hiding. well done. They had them. They was they were on the contract to be in hiding for something a year. Like six, yeah, after the film, and yeah. then he had to get them out. <laughs> he was gonna get done for a murder, like or whatever it was. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah in, inciting a murder or something. Yeah, <laughs> that's it was crazy. Um, but yeah, the some of the re or the, some of the not even the remake, some of the newer ones of this was were pretty good. Like the Letterface was okay. That's the one with Stefan Dorf. Yeah, where he plays know. the cop. Yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's actually not bad. He got, he made a grisly end in that one. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I didn't mind the Alexander Daddario one. What's that? Um, where, 3D. Yeah. I liked um, the concept of it. I just wasn't mad about how it turned out. You know. Yeah, but... film wise, it was just me. But the yeah. story, I did like the story to it. Yeah, and she was in it, which helped a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, but sure, look, um, yeah, it's still like it's a toss up between the original and the 2003 one for me. Yeah. Like, I'd still say 2003, surely because of the ending scene. Um, yeah. but if that if the granddad wasn't there for the original one, it'd be right up there as one of my favorites. That's, that's okay. how much I, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's true. It was the 70s, man. Fuck the deal. Yeah. But like, Cal <laughs> Hooper was a, Cal Hooper was a genius. He uh, was. And Gunnar, ha- Gunnar Hansen was unbelievable. Oh, uh, poor old Gunnar. Like, could you, could you imagine the heat inside that mask? Yeah. And, it, yeah. And I mean, he took it, he took inspiration from that as well. You know, yeah. Just, ah, it's just, uh, 15. Is one that we mentioned on our vampire episode, Blade. Oh, Blade, yeah, that's three films, but we'll only we'll only give it two because three the, was yeah, three oh. was three was three. <laughs> it's Ryan Reynolds uh, on another crap film. <laughs> it's Ryan Reynolds, uh, Jessica Biel, Triple H. Triple H. Uh, yeah, made two hundred and four million off three films. Wow. That's good going. Well, like three didn't make any money as far as I know. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think like one obviously made the money. I think two was the bigger of the box offices though. Yeah. Well, the first um, two are, are brilliant. Like yeah. I love I love the concept of the second one with the kind of a hybrid the split. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And even when you look at it now, it hasn't aged badly. You know. No, think, no, it's not too bad. I think we were um, talking about the first one. In the vampire episode, we were saying, yeah, you know, it aged some of the CG aged badly, but oh, yeah. the, the special effects on the second one actually hold up really well. I, I think, anyway. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Like the, the whole series is kind of enjoyable, like as a as a yeah. film series for what it is. Exactly. Um, but like Wesley Snipes is Wesley Snipes is Blade. He'll always be forever known as Blade, really. Yeah. No one else will ever. It's like ba- it's like Michael Keaton. He is Batman, as far as I can say. One hundred percent correct. Thank you. <laughs> um, we we'll move on. Uh, Fourteen is one of Ted's favorites. Is the Purge? Right. Okay. How many uh, of these are there? Well, according to IMDb, there was three. Uh, I think there's about eight. Isn't there? Yeah. Well, um, I don't know. When I took it off the list, it said three films. So, uh, I know there's a new new war one out. And there's also a, a TV series, isn't it? Yeah, Ted Ted swears by that TV series. He said it's very, very good. Um, Ted's as holy all the time. <laughs> he said, he's the least one of us to be anything of that nature. <laughs> um, so at the minute, I'm going to say it's unknown as to how many there actually is. Right. Because I don't believe the tree is correct. One, <laughs> no, there's, there's about... There's five... Minimum. Yeah. And a TV show. Yeah. So, 250 million isn't overly as great when you look at that. No. But one was such a low-budget movie that it was made for. And then it went off and obviously made 200 sequels. Yeah. But that's the kind of concept you could you could do sequels with, though. You know? Yeah. You, oh, yeah. You, it's just a different porridge every year or yeah. whatever. Different, um, people, different stories on the night and well, you know? Yeah, Ted, like Ted, it was Ted that got me to watch this one. Um, I, I thought it was 
The first time I watched it, I thought it was terrible. Really? I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Um, and then I watched it again, and I really quite enjoyed it then. I was like, oh, yeah, the story actually makes sense. So I said I'd go and watch the next one, but never did. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. pal. Yeah. Go on. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was all right. Uh, Lena Headley and a couple others, but no one really major at the time. Like, yeah. I think I've, um, seen, I've seen one of them, I think. Yeah, I can't remember which one. I think it might be the one with Lena Headley in it. That's the first one. That's the yeah. one where they're in the house and they're coming trying to get in. Yes, I've seen that one. I haven't uh, seen any of they, they let, they let the, the war vet in. Yeah. Yeah. It was all right. It was, it was enjoyable after Enjoy when, I, yeah. when, I, when I sat down to watch it without being like, I don't have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> you gave it a chance. Yeah. Um. So, 13 is another vampire werewolf Thing. We're gonna go with Underworld, Underworld. with Kate Beckinsale and well, Scott Speedman. Now, hold on, are you saying Scott Speedman for I leave that to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty face. Um, yeah, no. Uh, these movies, I didn't really. It was just there. Like, I, anytime I tend to watch them, I tend to fall asleep. I find them kind of boring. <laughs> Um, I don't know why. I think it should be something that I like. Yeah. But I just never really bought into these. I saw I saw the first one in the cinema, and oh, did I, you? I found the first one okay. You know, I enjoyed it. It wasn't shit. I enjoyed it, but I again, I got bored with the other ones. You know, they deteriorate very quickly, yeah. especially when uh, your man starts flying and picking off kids and everything. And yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on? He's flying after them and in the truck. I was like. What? <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, but they are what they are. Made 222 million. Nice return. Yeah, not bad. Uh, now we move into a zombie movie. I think it's the first zombie movie of the. Oh no, Evil Dead's a zombie movie. Uh, made five films. 244 million. Can you guess what it is? Is it the Dead franchise, is it? Like Evil Dead. The, yeah. or, sorry, no, no, it's not that, not Donna Dead. No, they don't count as a franchise apparently. Do they not? Okay. No, because there's, I, I don't know why. I thought they would have. Yeah, let me guess. Hold on. Oh, I, I can't think. We're, we're, we're building the atmosphere here. <laughs> we're slumbering slowly along. <laughs> just, um, just for the record as well, this is a, a live view of Carl here in this list for the very first time. Yeah. <laughs> so he has, he has no chance to work off. Anything but Anything. knowledge here. Right, so there's how many films? Five. I guess I can't think. What was it? Resident Evil. Oh, I wouldn't have never got that. You know, I'm, I said a zombie movie. I know, but I still would never have got that. Cause I, I would have, I, if I had told you Mili Olovich was in it. Yes, I would have got that. But yeah. I, have, I don't think I've even seen one of them because I've no interest in them. I did I? No. Uh, I bet you've seen them all, haven't you? I have. Yeah. And uh, one and two are good. The rest of them are just. Yeah. And is 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 she in all of them? She's in one, two, and four, I think. She missed out on one of them. One or two yeah. of them. Uh, they're just. Yeah. They're they just kind of... Netflix. Netflix are making a TV show, rebooting it from the start, um, which is is drawing a lot of attention now at the minute um, so I'll be looking forward to that when it comes out because yeah. Netflix were striking on everything at the minute except Mass of the Universe I have not watched it yet and I don't plan on anyway. the Kevin Smith one is it? yes wrong, sh- wrong um, this is the wrong show to talk about that I know <laughs> we'll, move, we'll move on to uh, number 11 this one this one here was uh, was one of the best concepts I'd seen when I was when I was growing up Let me guess. I enjoyed them let me guess. So, no. Let me guess. Let me guess. Hostel. I'll give you the films. No, that didn't make oh. the list actually. Did I not? Uh, no, five films. Right. Two hundred sixty-three million. Okay. And it had Ali Larder and Sean William Scott in the first one. Ah, oh, um. What's it called? What is it? What is it? 
Final Destination. Fucking, I think I've seen about three of them. That man, the premise for this movie was fucking brilliant. Yeah, I love it. Um, they're great. It's a great series. Yeah. Um, because all of them are different, but it all has a strong story to it. Yeah, it's like, like, deaths are a bit ridiculous, but okay. what was the one in? Was it the the one where the big huge tree goes through the the the, the second car? one? <gasps> That's cool. <Yeah. laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Wait. When you're on, when you're stuck in traffic and you see one of those, you know everyone pulls into that other lane. <laughs> Understandable. Um, Good series. You know, like yeah, Good series. some of some of the deaths were ridiculous, but uh, like your man getting disemboweled by the the plunge or the the plug hole for the swimming yeah. pool. <laughs> Genius, but some of them were funny, but it was a good, good series overall. Yeah, not the worst. Very enjoyable. Um, but yeah, two hundred sixty-three million over five films. Good, bad. Re- good return. Yeah, fif- fif- fifty million a pop. Not bad. Right, we'll move into the top ten. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> so. 10 is one that's actually been covered on the show. Go on. Um, Sp- spanning 10 films, making a cool 308 million. Soon to be 11 films. Nightmare on Elm Street. No. Nope. You haven't covered Nightmare on Elm Street we in the show? We have- I wasn't on it. That's right. What? Hold on now. <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, and that's... Ten f- Ten films. Now, if you go by the current story, two films. Oh yeah, of course. It's, um, it's re recon, doesn't it? Yeah, three hundred and eight million. John yeah. Carpenter's genius creation. Yeah. Arguably his best creation. Yeah, I would say so. Absolutely. And arguably arguably a creation that saved slasher movies. Yes. I would agree uh, with you on that. Well, at least for a while, anyway, it saved slasher movies and brought gave us the likes of Jason and, and a couple others. Yeah. Um, me, personally, I say Freddy Krueger saved slashers because he was different. But at the time, at the time, uh, bringing out Halloween and the way it was filmed, the way it was done, the music just changed the game. I think um, they are, like, the, the heavy hitters of, that, of the slasher genres... They've all got their qualities in terms of bringing something to the table, I think. Yeah, I think it was more the creativeness from Freddy that I seen. Yeah. Like, if you look at Michael and Jason, it's slow, it's methodical, it's, it's I'll walk you down. I like all that. I love that, Yeah. You know? No, but that's grand. Yeah. But you see it, 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 you can only go to the well so many times. That's true, that's true. Yeah. In terms of movies, like, you see it in every slasher movie now. Big guy walking you down. Yeah. You know, kind of way. That's what I liked Fear Street. They were quick. They were... They were good, they were, actually, yeah. Good actually, yeah. That's... Um, but I think Halloween was great. First one was brilliant. Second one was... Mm, mm, yeah, it was okay. all right. Okay. Three was a standalone movie. I, that lo- I love just, that. I love it. It was... like In terms of this series, it's ridiculous mm. and unnecessary. Yeah. But as a standalone movie, it's very good, and that yeah. song is stuck in your head forever. We're not singing it. We're not singing it. Not happening. We did that last. One. <laughs> uh, if they had to just call the season of the witch, maybe. Yeah. And not tied it to the Halloween franchise. But there's a few. There's a few that have done that now. Uh, a few series that have done that. They brought out movies that have had nothing to do with anything, mm. and just thrown their name to it. Yeah. And of course, then you're you're gonna pick up money from it. That's what they're all in it for, at the end of the day. So, now, we'll, we'll, we'll try and move on. Uh, nine was one that I actually suggested to you to watch not so long ago, and you're late to the party for it. Three mm. films, they don't they don't count the spin-offs in this franchise. Really? Uh, made 324 million off three films, Jeez, and one of, them is, one of them is only out in about two months. Oh, fuck. Um, Again, we go back to Patrick Wilson. He loves these things, doesn't he? He he became a a horror man now, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Conjuring. The Conjuring, yeah. And now, funny enough, yeah, I only watched the first one again. <laughs> the first one. 
a few weeks yeah. ago. I remember I was saying to you I wanted to start watching a few more modern horrors. Give them a yeah, chance. Yeah, because I, I, to- I told you to watch it. Yeah. That was a um, very enjoyable film. Oh, this, okay. Those movies there uh, brought my love for horror back a little bit. I kind of drifted away and was like, oh, everything's shite these days. Mm. Um, because I'd seen about two hundred of the paranormal activities. I'd seen everything, and everything kind of seemed to be a possession movie, possession, possession, possession. Yeah. Um, and then I listened to Talk is Jericho with where he interviews Andrea Parent, who is the little girl from The Conjuring. Right. Okay. And I was like, sure, oh, I'm gonna watch these and see. So I went. I went and gave it a chance after listening to the podcast, and I was like, yeah, love it. And then the second one came out, and I've been outside the house where the second one took place in Enfield oh, cool. in London, um, because it's not too far from my nanny's. Wow. Uh, so I said I'll go down and have a, I'll have a look. Now you can't go into it; people live there, but yeah, yeah I've been outside it, which was was weird. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Tree was left alone by James Wan, and it, it kind of took a different toll, but it was it was an all right movie. But again, it's one of those movies that have put their name, the Conjuring name on it. And, it was, and yeah, it's piggybacking it. off it, yeah. Well, none of them have had to do with each other, really. Oh. He threw Annabelle in just to make something else of it. Yeah, and then the known as well part of that franchise, is it? Oh, jeez, yeah. Valak. I like the character. The character looks great, though. The known? Yeah, I think it looks yeah, cool. Yeah, Bonnie, Bonnie Aarons is a, is a creepy-looking lady. She's in, isn't she in one of the... She's in the first or the second one. She is the demon from the first one. Yeah, I know that. Oh, no, sorry, no, no, sorry, sorry. She's the demon from the second one. Yeah. Um, um, I thought she made an appearance in the first one. Not as the nun, now. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, unless unless she played Bathsheba, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, she did. Yeah. Uh, the, that's just me. But, I, I think I, I might be getting it mixed up with number two. Sorry. The, con- the Conjuring one that was... was Phenomenal. Yeah. Um. Now there, there we go back to atmosphere being built. Yeah. Throughout that movie, and you oh, just some mad. of the camera work uh, to build it, like the bit where she's standing outside and the sheet blows off beside her and it's stuck there as if it's holding someone. Yeah. And then blows away and she's standing up in the window, <laughs> and you're like, it was just, but like there was jump scares in it that you didn't expect. Yeah. Like the bit where she's looking down the, where she can hear the kid clapping. Yeah. And uh, she thinks they're playing Marco Polo. She's looking down the stairs and you expect something to come up. And the hands come from behind there and you're like, you sneaky son of a bitch. <laughs> that's like, that's the mark of um, a good, of a good uh, horror film. Yeah. It's what you don't expect. Yeah. Um, and like where she's banging her head off the, the wardrobe. Oh, yeah. And you expect it to come out of the wardrobe. And actually, you know, they look up and it's on top of it. And you're like, yeah. oh, shit. <laughs> Good um, films. Good no, films. Yeah. Three was okay. Two two was enjoyable as well. Uh, very gritty. Two was. Um, it was. It was good, though. Um, you should check it out. I think two was on Netflix as well. Yeah, I think it is. Um, what we got next? The ultimate horror of horrors for the older generation. The Exorcist. Yes, we were only saying that. Yeah. Spans six films, soon to be seven. 331.6 million. Now, here's the thing is, like, see those numbers. Is that box office or is that sales of, you know? No, that's bo- that's box office. Right, okay. So then it would have been probably. The like, probably only probably been no probably would have only been off two movies or three movies I'd say because mm. I don't think they all got a theoretical release well I don't know how the mask box office if it doesn't come out in the cinema did they do it off day one sales or something maybe yeah um well this just just gone by the numbers that IMDb gave me yeah yeah um first one classic absolutely yeah yeah it's just that's all that needs to be said yeah uh the less said about the rest of them the better. Yeah. Um, Although I will say I watched the TV series. That's the uh, one that came out on Prime, was it? Yeah, yeah. I was actually su- pleasantly surprised with that. It was it was good. Again, it's on, it's on my list to watch. I just yeah, there's too much stuff at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that I go back and rewatch uh, 
rewatch The Office and Scrubs and things, and I'm like, <laughs> Greg, you've seen you've seen these about two hundred times. <laughs> you have to though. They're good. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. What you know, Reagan. Reagan is arguably one of the most influential uh, characters you'll see in a horror film. Yeah. Well, one of the most um, memorable ones as well. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah influential, probably not, but yeah, memorable, definitely. Memorable, yes. Yeah. Uh, and paparazzi or, or, or oh yeah, Pazuzu. Pazuzu, yeah. Yeah. And then like, yeah, it's just like that's that's one of them quiz questions that people you uh, you ask the quiz not many people again yeah what uh what was the demon called in in uh the exorcist in the ex exorcist well actually i meant to say to you i'll give you a funny one do you know the conjuring one yes uh, uh oh sorry no i haven't seen the conjuring 2 it's actually in the conjuring 2 never mind All right. I'll, 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 I'll tell, I'll tell you, when, you when uh, i've seen it yeah <laughs> uh it's very good though um seven is four films is it about to be five? So this will move probably further up the list come the end of the year. Okay. 331.7 million. Just slightly above The Exorcist, but with two less movies. Okay. Um, would you, is, pre, is, is it Predator, no? No, that didn't make it. Oh, right. They're, they're probably I, don't, I don't think they count. I, I think they already no. count the first one as a horror. Right. Um, what is it? Scream. Well, that's true. I like, I like, I like Scream. I was, I was very late to this. Um, as I said to you before, I, yeah. I had thought I'd seen these, and when I watched them in the start of lockdown, the first lockdown, and I was talking to Ian and Ted about it, and they were like, "You've definitely seen them." And I was like, "I definitely have." <laughs> watched it. No idea. Not a clue. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. I was like. Yeah. I watched all four of them in the space of two days. Then I was like, "Yeah, I knew I'd, I'd seen four. Yeah. I definitely seen four because I was working next vision when it came out. Um, I knew I knew what happened in that one, but the other three I hadn't a clue. <laughs> like you could pick, you could nearly pick some of it going through. Um, some of the twists in it were brilliant though, as to who who it was or yeah. uh, the way they done it. Um, Wes Craven, Wes Craven was brilliant. Yeah. Um, but like what I liked even in Scream 1 like he had the throwback to Nightmare on Elm Street where he had Fred himself play Fred the janitor with the, the janitor. Red and green jumper yeah but he also paid tribute to John Carpenter in the first one because you know when they're all in the house at the party yeah they're watching Halloween that's right yeah, yeah. Um, very good it's very good yeah like that's arguably your biggest rival in, in horror and you're gonna throw him into one of your films and you're like yeah that's that's called yeah. got the, you know got Moxie. That's what that yeah. is. He's got, got Moxie. a lot of bit of balls on you. Yeah. Um, six, nine films, three hundred and seventy and a half million. That's Freud of the Tortoise. That is incorrect. Right. That is. God, I don't know. What is it? You're you're so set on it. <laughs> I was. It's uh, it's the Nightmare on Elm Street collection. Was there nine films in that? There's eight, and then there's the that Bay other Bay. one. <laughs> that other one. Oh, God. Do you know what? I can normally call someone's remakes. That's just the other one. That's yeah. the black sheep. I'd prefer two. Oh, my God. Nightmare on Elm Street that... 2 than watch that remake. I have never watched the remake for the simple fact I know it would annoy me. You know that way? Do you know something? For the cast they got, right? So he just came off doing The Watchmen, Jackie L. Haley and whatnot. He was kind of big. Uh, they had Rooney Mara. They had... Um, oh, do you remember the cop from Shawshank Redemption? Um, Clancy? Yeah. The big lad, uh, yeah, Clancy yeah. Brown or whatever his name was. Yeah, Clancy Brown. Yeah, they had him in it. Uh, there was a few others in it as well. You know what I mean, uh, it was a big enough cast, mm -hmm. and it was like for the first forty minutes, it was it was very very good, and then it was like they realised that they were going off in a different direction, and just muddled everything into it and was like, there you go. <laughs> and I was like, thanks. <laughs> oh, and yeah. still. 
I still went to see it twice in the cinema. That's because you're a sucker for Freddy. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I don't have this on my arm for no reason. <laughs> Love it. But let's no. be fair, it's not a, it's not, it's not the Jackie Earl Haley one. No, it's not. No way. Yeah. The ba- the main man himself, Robert England. Yeah. And uh, one yeah. in three, I like. I like one in three. I like the rest, the other ones, but three what? for me is class. For one, for me, it goes one, three, four, a new nightmare. Um, uh, I think it's called Freddy's Dead. Yeah, yeah. It's five, uh, and then they had the one with the baby, and then there was two, and then t- twenty ten. Yeah. Um, like three, three is arguably the best of the the collection. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely the strongest story, and and whatnot, and arguably the most creative kills. Yeah. Now one one has the most influence or the most rem- mem- most memorable kill. Uh, when poor Johnny Depp gets put into the blender, Jeez, yeah. in the bed. Um, <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, good collection. An it's, enjoyable, nine. It's, a, it's an enjoyable franchise, apart from that. that it's, a, it's a, it's a very weak franchise, though. Really, mm. out of nine films, you're talking about having two, maybe three, good ones. Yeah, but they're, they're the kind of ones that if they're on, you'll watch them. Like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then again, like the one that my favorite film collection is is Ron Thorne, and I'll say it over and over. Mm-hmm. It's not a very good series, but, you but I enjoy it. it. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's it, it's all personal preference. I know people that love Nightmare on Elm Street too. I'm like, do you watch movies? There's something wrong with them people. Yeah. Like I don't <laughs> know. I don't know where. I don't know what they thought was going to happen with that movie. I know. <laughs> but that's that's for a different day. Exactly. Uh, five. Is twelve films, three hundred and eighty point six million. Twelve films. Uh, What's that then? This here is your highest killer kill rate. That's Friday the Thirteenth, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. There's not much in it, considering they've made three movies more. It's only ten million more in the box office or whatever. I would say that came from later films. That I would say that. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, Jason X. Jason X made big money. I don't know what. Was, was, <laughs> uh, was the strange one. Now I don't know whether that nine and twelve count Freddy versus Jason. I think I think the class uh, that as a you could probably class as, that as one part for each. Of, one for each, yeah, probably good actually. Um, because it doesn't. It just tells you how many films it is. It doesn't give you the names of them on the list. Mm. So yeah, uh, we'll say that that's in there. That made big money. Mm, yeah, I yeah. like um, this would be the character now that I would like the idea of and the look of more than the films. Whereas I like the whole idea and the concept in the films of Michael Myers. You yeah, know? this is what I was saying. This is your typical uh, slow moving, yeah. big, powerful uh, slasher. Yeah. Goes along nicely up here. <laughs> <laughs> you have one as well, don't you? Uh, he's there. Yeah, <laughs> he kind of has to go on to it, really, doesn't yeah. he? I, and that's yeah. it. My, my, um, I really should get Freddy on this. I know I should. Like, there's yeah. Michael, you know. Yeah, well, like Freddy, Freddy was supposed to be my first one, but uh, it just happened to go the other way. At the <laughs> time, one of the lads that did it for me was like, "Can I just do Jason there?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, why not?" We're all <laughs> going on at some stage anyway. Yeah, he'd be one of the most yeah. one of the most iconic horror characters. For the hockey I'll, mask alone. Yeah, well, there's your like you talk about horror. You talk about horror. You get the same probably four names that pop up. Yeah. You're gonna get. We've had them all now, so you're gonna get Michael. You get Jason. You get Leatherface. You will get Freddy. And for proper horror fans, you'll probably get Pinhead. That's right. Yeah. Um, like there was an idea pitched around there not so long ago by. Clive Barker and John Carpenter before he died. Yeah, he did die. Oh no, sorry, uh, John Carpenter. John Carpenter's still alive. Wes Craven. Wes Craven. Um, for Halloween and Hellraiser crossover. Halloween. And apparently they were apparently apparently they were gonna call it Halloween. <laughs> like the band. Um, is there a band? Is there? Mm. Um, yeah. Apparently, uh, one of the lads that runs another page, uh, first class horror 
was had it up. Um, he found something on it, and it was, apparently they had talks, and it was it was set to go at one stage. Yeah. So like the the crossover movies did work. Yeah, uh, I mean, they just had yeah. to have. They just had to have a stronger script. Yeah, I, I thought Freddy vs Jason was all right. You know, it was um, a bit of fun. For for horror fans, it was great finally seeing it. But yeah. if you watch that as a non horror fan, you think, yeah. "What the fuck is this?" I love when you see Jason coming out of the water and that, and he has Freddy's head. Yeah, you know, just, just like it set up. The, it set up the second one. Yeah. that never happened. Yeah, pity. Thank God. Ah no, pity. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> um, right. This oh. this one actually pain. This one pains me to be on the list. Oh. And six films. It's made four hundred and one million. Jesus. Four films. Every six. Six films. Yeah. The first one was the biggest of them. Uh, and I had a cast of four people. Oh, the Blair Witch Project. Nope. It was more than that in the foot in Blair Witch Project. Just the three of them. No, nope, because they stop and talk to you one. They stop and talk in the diner. They have the college at the start. This oh. one has a cast of four people. Okay, what is it? Paranormal Activity. I've never seen any of those films. The first one I went to see in the cinema and I enjoyed it. And then I came out of the cinema and I was like, what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> Uh, no, I found myself when I went home, like every little, like I was in college at the time, and I found every little noise, I was kind of like, that's what it, it kind of done, it brought up the noises of your house more so than I would say so. anything. Yeah. Um, but after that, it just went off a nose dive off a cliff. Uh, Again, I can't comment on them because I've never seen them, so. That's, that's made it to number four. Wow. And that's, but that's, that's again, prime Timing. cinema timing yeah so people yeah. are going to go and see that in their droves you know yeah right we go to number three because paranormal activity is terrible <laughs> uh this has made five films right 408 million that's, that's a proper heavy year right mm. and i'd say about 80 percent of the total came off the first movie Seems it's also be a... been it's also been covered on this show. I think I'd know my own show, wouldn't you? Um, It'd be well... my show if you don't catch up. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it? Go on, tell me. Jaws. Yeah, of course. Um, it's been covered. Me personally, on... me personally, I wouldn't count this as a horror movie. Not myself. a straight up horror, but it, it does. Hurt. But, Horror elements, yeah. enough, enough horror elements yeah. for me to have it on. It was covered. It was actually covered on this show and covered on Retro uh, Retro in week three or four by Ted and Ian. Yeah, that was, that uh, was before my time. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No, again, I, I love the first one. Uh, that's all it needs to be said. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, one, one is as near perfect a movie as you'll get. It's still the rewatch. The, the rewatchability of that film is eternal. It really is. I've I've watched it three times the last six months. <laughs> Just when I've nothing to do or nothing yeah. to watch, I'm flicking through Netflix to see Jaws. Okay, yeah. put yeah. it on in the background, and then I see myself sitting there an hour and a half later going, "Here she comes." <laughs> yeah, I love it. I don't care. Come on, Bruce. <laughs> I love how Bruce looks in it. I don't care. I love. Yeah. It. Like that, I think now that's the only thing that'll kind of mark it down a little bit. Yeah, but I still think for the yeah. time, it was brilliant. But I'm just, I'm just glad that Bruce did not walk properly. Yeah. Um, that's the only thing you can say about that movie now. Like, imagine what it would have been if that had walked properly. Yeah, jeez. I know. <laughs> oh, but really, um, it's it's deservedly so. Even if even on the strength of that one film. Deservedly yeah, so well, up there. Well, that that is the that is that is the franchise, and I'm glad that Spielberg has the rights to it. Yeah, and he will not budge on letting them. He let them butcher it for long enough. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, he's not budging because uh, as far as I knew, Prime, uh, or far, as far as I read, Prime and I think it's Sony Pictures are trying to make reboot Jaws, yes. and he's just he's just not giving it. He's like not a hope. Good. But like then they brought out that new one that they said was better than Jaws, Great White. Boy, Jesus, I had the unfortunate pleasure of watching that for an hour and a half. <laughs> Fuck me. After the Meg, I don't watch films like that. Man. I, I go through stages where I like I do like watching creature features. Like, I watched uh, Primeval last night. That was any good? No. <laughs> uh, it's about, you know, Gustav the Crocodile. Yeah. That really big man-eating crocodile that they yeah. caught. They made a movie about that. But it, they brought in like a warlord and everything into it. I was like, what the fuck is this? But uh, no, creature features aren't done like Jaws anymore. No. Uh, and it, like for me, for a certain point, Anaconda was done perfectly. Mm, yeah. And then you see the snake and you're like, Jesus, Jesus. Christ. <laughs> but I think they show too much of the snake in it. Yeah, and that can um, be, I mean, that, that, that's probably just excitement on their part wanting to show off what they've made yeah no, I know when they kill Mateo off in Anaconda they have to show him thing. I, I know getting eaten by a shark you don't see much you just can be pulled under mm. like when you're being crushed to death by a 40 foot snake it's you kind of have to see something yeah you have to but all, the, all, all they needed to do was maybe show the body yeah like wrapped around a tree or with him in it or whatever but um like you see poor all out breaking on Wilson's neck and everything and you're like, <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> uh, they kinda of just they kinda of got there and was like, Oh shit, what do we do now? Yeah. Fuck it, do this. What, what, what would an anaconda do? Oh we should maybe we should have checked that out. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, they're not they're not a a predatorial killer for this long and get that size for no fucking yeah. reason, like <laughs> um they don't kill everything around them and have arguably no hunters for no reason. <laughs> it's the same as a great white but that was the subtle touch in Jaws that I loved the name of the boat is oh, the, the Orca yes. and like a lot of people wouldn't realise the Orca is the only thing that'll hunt a great white yes um, like and subtle the... little touches like that yeah were so good and as um, I said rightly it... so it's number three you know yeah uh, well I was surprised I thought it might have been a bit higher uh, well Number two is seven films. Uh, is actually now eight films. Remake or um, remake? No, no, just a new part. Okay. But I don't know if it's counted in this franchise. If that makes sense, the way right. IMDb have done it. Okay. Uh, it's made four hundred and fifteen million. Wow. And it's made one character. You'll you'll only be forever known as this character now. Oh God, what is it? Uh, Tobin Bell will always be remembered. So for so, so yeah. So. Some yeah. of those films were brilliant. I have to say, they were brilliant. I like I like them all. To yeah. be honest, there's not a bad one. No. There's some there's some crazy ones. Yeah, that's but probably there's, better. There's not they're not a bad one. They're all fairly strong stories to them. And the traps are all pretty smart, pretty clever. Some of them are bad, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, the one, I only watched the, uh, it pops up on, my, on some of the horror pages, uh, you'll see like the best saw traps. Um, the the merry-go-round one with the shotgun. Oh, yeah. Where there's, si- where there's six of them and he has to put his hand in and break the bones in his hand. <laughs> and you're like, Jesus, no, I just let all six of them be shot. Sorry, pal. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever four of these die, die. I'm sorry. Or the one where uh, your where your woman falls onto the the needles, you know the the syringes. Oh, that's in the second one. Yeah. Oh. Do you know? Do you know? They didn't tell her that they were doing that, and she has a genuine fear of needles. They probably, I'd say, they knew that, and that's probably why they did that. Which is yeah. So they uncovered pretty- it. They told her it was a pit of. They told her it was a pit, a pit of rats, apparently. Oh. And uh, when they uncovered it. But the problem was there's a hundred thousand fake needles in that. Mm. And someone dropped a box of real needles into it at one stage. Fuck's sake. Yeah, they had to go through every one of them. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. Yeah, production stopped for four days. 
<laughs> Imagine oh. dropping the box anywhere but there. What would they do with real needles there? I have no idea. <laughs> no but, idea. But yeah, that was one of those things I like reading on the old horror pages, like things yeah. that come up about movies. Uh, but yeah, apparently you want to play the man that has a terrible, terrible fear of needles. Wow. That's why that's why they had her play a junkie in the movie. Yeah. Uh, to try and help her over it and whatnot. Very good. Um, but uh, yeah, it's all it was brilliant. Um, as I was saying, I don't, I don't know whether they count Chris Rock's new one. Well, it's, uh, I suppose it's, it's part of the it's part of the story, isn't it? Really. I don't know. I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. But I'm, I would have yeah. seen. I think it says from the Saw series or something like that. So. The Book of Saw. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not sure whether it's a re. Whether it's a reboot of the first one or it's another part, I'm not entirely sure. No. Um, um, but uh, the overall, very good series. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Uh, probably the strongest in terms of full horror series. Yeah, consistent. Um, yeah, like overall, movie for movie, there's like, all right, one was, was brilliant. Mm. And then they kind of just stay at a general level. Level, yeah. There's, they're that. not muck. They're not muck, put it that way. Like, you don't go from Nightmare on Elm Street being up here to number two being somewhere down here. No. <laughs> um, and then going back up and down. Like I know all movies have it, but uh, they they saw kind of kept true to itself. Yeah. Um, James Wan was a brilliant, was a brilliant director as well. He is, yeah. Um, right, number one. Seven films. Okay. 515 million. Nearly, basically 516 million. Jesus. Uh, give us a give us a clear one. Um, arguably the strongest female character you'll ever see in your life. Oh God. I think if you think about that in film franchises, there's probably only two you can think of. And one of them is not Laura Croft. I would have said Sarah Connor. Well, it's between her and the other one. Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Alien. Oh, oh, that makes fucking perfect sense now. Ellen, Ellen Ripley. Uh, that's how, yeah, that's how many how many films are they including the Predator ones in that? AVP. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't think so because you've got obviously Alien, Aliens. Alien three, Prometheus, oh, Alien yeah. four, uh, and then there was another one from Prometheus. Wasn't there? there was two parts of that. Yeah, I think there was. Yeah. Uh, they mustn't be. There's seven on this, so right. you'd say so nine. Seven, yeah. Yeah. Uh, five hundred and fifteen point nine million. Um, Alien one and two, and then the rest are going to bin. Yeah, the first two, the the concept is just spectacular. You know, and this this was again this was another movie that I got too late. Um, like growing up, I used to love Predator. Predator used to be on Sky One. Yeah. Uh, and things like that. I used to watch it all the time. And then it wasn't up until probably about two thousand four when Alien vs Predator was coming out. I was like, I better actually watch these before I go and see that. Yeah. I sat down and watched them, and I watched one, and I was like, That's it. I'm watching two now. <laughs> and I watched Please. two and then I watched three for 27 and was just like <laughs> okay I was like this goes off a cliff somewhere yeah and I was like I have no idea what's going on now but uh, I, you just love seeing the alien fucking people up the alien eventually just becomes uh, just becomes another slasher yeah essentially uh, I love when they when you know when they had the alien human hybrid Remember that thing? The big kind of tall white thing. No. Uh, that that uh, Ripley. Did Ripley not? Did it not come out with Ripley? Um, because I know that there was a pred alien in Alien vs Predator, but this thing was a, it was like a it was like a hybrid of a human and a an alien. No. I'll, have to, I'll have to look it up and show you. I have to show yeah, I I have to go back and watch the. Yeah. I actually have. Do you remember the box head that came out when AVP two came out? Yeah, yeah. It has the two predators. It has all the aliens, and then it has AVP one and two. And I have that. Nice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back and watch them. Yeah. Um, surely because Predator one, 
Alien 1 and 2 are class. Yeah. Even Predator yeah, 2 even, was funny. Predator 2 was funny where he meets the drug dealer on the street. <laughs> um, but really? no, yeah, Alien, Alien 1 and 2, uh, well, Alien film franchise in terms of horror is the highest gross. And, wow. Yeah. Well, you can understand that, again, on the strength of the Force 2. Yeah, well, the other uh, Prometheus got a big, big lineup, didn't it? Yeah. Um, and it got a lot of hype about it. Um, yeah. I think when people see the Force, they were like, nah, this is shit. <laughs> um, and no, I don't blame were, them. It was right. absolute poison. Yeah, I wasn't a fan of um, it. But to me, like ha- not having it in there being the highest grossing horror film, but maybe because one was a made for movie TV, they I'd can't count so. it as a franchise. Yeah. Um. Things like that. Uh, it's surprising that there's no real werewolf movie you made it in i'm not because there's no franchises per se except maybe the underworld where they, they came into it yeah like, was there's, there's not, you know yourself there's there's a lot of there's not a lot of love in hollywood for werewolf films no it's vampires. all done yeah it's because you can make a, a love story out of a vampire yes not a werewolf you yeah know? Well, you probably could, but it, you might get in trouble for bestiality or something. But, yeah. Greg, you're, a, um, you're a dirty fucker. Well, the Wolfman, the Wolfman probably could have made it as a franchise. Could have, yeah, but the. Uh, I liked again, that. Had, I enjoyed it. Which one, the Benicio del Toro one? Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, Anthony Hopkins was brilliant in that. Yeah, as usual. You know, you know, it's bad when you say an actor was brilliant in something and then you just follow it as usual. Yeah, I <laughs> know that's. That's yeah. how you know a really good actor. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs didn't make it, which was uh, a strange one. I'm surprised at that now, actually. Yeah, I would have thought. Because obviously, like if... obviously it wasn't as big in the cinema. No. But sure. look, I mean, it, the first one won how many Oscars? You know, you would the first think... one. The first one was only, I think, the, the third movie or the second movie to win the big five. Wow. Well, yeah. like, that tells you everything you need to know about that movie. Yeah, and Anthony so, Hopkins won Best Actor in it, and he was only on the screen for uh, ten minutes, was it? Sixteen six, minutes? Well, sixteen minutes, something like that. Yeah. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like the, the, there are other movies that sh- I thought should be on that franchise list, just mm. obviously didn't do well. Yeah. Um, but it is what it is. Well, that's the franchises for you. Yeah. We, well, it's a, an impromptu it's, show, but sure. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, I have to say thanks for digging us out of a hole and putting us ah, on the slab again. Gotta gotta help gotta help a brother out sometimes. Absolutely. Uh it's been cool talking about those films actually. It's nice remembering some like of the out, out of out of those twenty six, how many do you reckon you've seen at least one movie of? Oh, maybe about maybe twenty of them. I've Easily. seen a movie out of them. I've seen a movie out of them all. At least yeah. one. Yeah, I've, I've, <laughs> I'm looking at it, Colin. I've seen all that series. <laughs> all that series. No, I, I, and you hear most of me, I'm like, I've seen the first one. <laughs> yeah. That's you know? usually all you need to see in a film yeah. series. Yeah. That tells you. Um, <laughs> that tells you everything you need to know about it. Like, um, I think we'll have to do another one of these soon. Um, maybe get, we'll have to get Ian involved on in it. Yeah. We'll try, we'll try and figure out, maybe, maybe do our own franchise list or our own series list yeah. or something. Yeah, we'll do something. Um, but should we talk? We can talk about that off screen. <laughs> exactly. So we're gonna leave the slab now, Greg G Man. It's been awesome as always having you on the show. And I'll um, be back eventually. You will, you will be back. And um, for now, enjoy the rest of your evening. And we are out of here. Thank you.